Hi guys, in this video, we will see how we can train YOLO V8 on custom data for sign language alphabet detection and recognition. So I have all done, already uh, done implementation on Google Colab. So we will review the whole process step by step and discuss in detail how we can implement uh, sign language alphabet detection and uh, recognition using YOLO V8. So I have divided this whole notebook into five different steps. So let's discuss each of the step and uh, move towards implementation of this project. So first of all, uh, we will uh, import all the required libraries. Uh, first, I've imported import OS. Basically, I am using import OS library uh, for with this uh, helper variable, which I'm using over here, home. For this helper variable, I am importing OS. Uh, plus, I am importing G, uh, G, uh, glob and other uh, from ipython to display import image display. So basically, why I am importing all these three uh, libraries is that because uh, when we need to display confusion metrics, training or validation losses into the Google Colab, so there we need these libraries to display the confusion metrics, is uh, training and validation losses, and uh, uh, results on the test images or inference on videos uh, into the Google Colab, where we need import glab, uh, glob and other from iPhone to, uh, to display import display. We need these libraries over there. So before moving ahead, uh, we need, first need to check uh, whether we have access to the GPU or not. Uh, to check this, we will simply use NVIDIA-SMI command. So for this, you can see that uh, we are using GPU memory usage. So it means we have the access to the GPU. So if you don't have uh, access to the GPU, you simply go to the runtime, change runtime, and select the hardware, uh, hardware accelerator as GPU. Uh, please make sure before running the strip that you uh, have selected hardware accelerator as GPU, because if it is none, it is CPU and the processing will be very, very slow. So please make sure that you have selected the hardware accelerator as GPU. So next we are uh, selecting the uh, defining up the helping variable uh, as um, home. So why we do need this helping variable is that uh, this helping variable help us to assess uh, easily assess and navigate between different folders and some folder assess different data set images and uh, navigate to the test validation or train folders. So next I am installing uh, Ultra Analytics using pip install. So basically YOLO V8 can be installed in two ways from source or VI pip. So basically this is the first iteration of YOLO to have an official package. So in this uh, article or in this, uh, sorry, in this video, we will use pip install method uh, to install Ultra Analytics, okay? So you can also do, do the git clone rep, uh, the repository, install all dependencies. In this way, you can also do it. So it's your all your choice. By git cloning the repository, installing all the dependencies in this way, you can also implement uh, it. But pip install analytics is a quite simple way and we will be using it. So next we will need to check whether YOLO V8 installed and working fine. So simply import ultra analytics, ultra analytics dot check. So it means that setup complete. We have the access to the ultra analytics. Uh, YOLO V8, so let's move forward. From Ultra Analytics, uh, import YOLO V8, you import YOLO. Basically, do you need this when you need to implement uh, YOLO using Python SDK? So, but we are not using here, so we just, you can skip this step as well over here. So for uh, here, we, we for as we are uh, going to implement YOLO V8 on custom data set in this video, so we will, uh, to implement sign language alphabet detection recognition, I am will be using this data set uh, available in Robusto. You can simply click on download and by signing in with your account, like I have signed with my account, you need to sign with your account and it just, yeah, then you can just download this uh, terminal command from here and just import it over here and just paste it over here and download the data set into your Google Colab. So here I've already downloaded the data set over here. So just skipping it. So now I will train the YOLO V8 model on the custom data set. First of all, I will set the directory home. Uh, let me show you the whole process of the training. Let me just not skip it. Uh, let me show you. OK, 
Okay, so I'll tell it is dot checks. It might take one minute. You can simply skip this step, no worries. Just skip this step. So I am just installing the American language alpha dataset from RoboFlow. So it might take one to two minutes. So to download uh, the image dataset into the Google Colab, so you just simply go need to go to download, and then you need to select YOLO P5 PyTorch, show download code, and just copy this. Just copy this and just paste this over here. Okay. So you can just do this. So you now you can see that I have downloaded the data set over here and it must be appearing over here into inside the data sets where you can sign language data set and we have the train test validation and data.yml file uh, which navigates to the path of the training and validation images and we have we are detecting 26 different classes with from you can see over here okay so here we are just going to train our pretend model of your v8 l or or you can see that we are just going to fine tune our model on the sign language alphabet detection and recognition uh, data sets okay so we will be using uh, we will be fine tuning our your v8 model for sign language alphabet detection and recognition. So just, uh, I've already done this. So I have trained my model for 50 epochs, but uh, if you train your model on a higher epochs, you will get better results. So just leave it here. Just checking uh, the number of uh, images we have, or results we have, predictions we have in the red train folder after the training process is completed. So now here we have the confusion matrix. So what is basically confusion matrix? Confusion matrix is the chart that basically shows how our model handled different classes. So confusion matrix is basically a chart that show how our model handled different classes. For example, for example, for alphabet A, let me just zoom it a bit more. For example, for alphabet A, it says, 60% of the times it detected correctly that it is alphabet A. For 20, uh, for while for 20% uh, of the times uh, we, it, we get bounding boxes, but it's, it is not, uh, alphabet A is not detected correctly, or it, uh, it does not uh, classify alphabet A correctly. It is incorrectly classified, okay? And for the remaining 20% of the times, it is unable to detect alphabet A, okay? So we are not able to detect alpha at A. For, uh, so for example, 60% of the time, we are able to correctly detect alphabet A. Uh, for the remaining 20%, for the 20% of the times, we are able to get the bounding bugs, but we are not able to classify alphabet A correctly. Instead of classifying alphabet A, we are classifying a alphabet X, which is actually A. And remaining 20% of the time, we are not able to get the bounding box. We are not able to detect anything. So basically, uh, this is overall confusion matrix which shows how basically our model handed different classes. Overall, you can see that our model behaves a very fine perf performance. So these are the training and validation loss. In these losses, we, uh, the important ones are the box logs and the CLS loss. So these are the model prediction on validation batch. Uh, so these images are not, restrict, uh, not used strictly for training. So it's always better to look and see how our models behave. So basically these images are not used any fun way for training. So we are just seeing how our model behaves on different images. So now here we are just validating the custom model. You can see that. So here uh, are the validation of custom. We are validating our uh, model. We are just validating on the uh, validating our custom model, uh, and we are just selecting the mod as validation. Previously we are selecting the mod as train when we are training. So now we are just validating. We are selecting the mod as validation, and just validating our custom uh, model on validation data set images. And now we are just in, doing inference of custom model on some test data set images. And here are the results. And here we are just in, doing inference on a demo video, which we have taken uh, from YouTube. Uh, let me show you that video uh, as well. 
so this is the basically the video which we use to test our model so here you can just download it from here and test your model so just to give credit i've shown you so here i'm just displaying the output video and you can see that our model exists quite fine results for the demo video you can see over here so this is how we have implemented uh, sign language alphabet direction and recognition using visual v8 so i hope you have a uh, lot learned a lot of lot, lot of things from this video see you in the next video thank you so much for watching